Hello and welcome to Point of View. With 207 orbital launches in the first five years, China's space industry has expanded to new horizons in the starry ocean of the vast cosmos, a newly released white paper on the country's space plans showed. A country usually very secretive about its space program, China has uncharacteristically released its space plans for the next five years in a white paper. Outline new exciting chapters of major projects such as deep space exploration and manned space programs, the long-anticipated fifth edition of the white paper titled China's Space Program a 2021 perspective was released in Beijing on January 28, 2022, offering the world a fresh window to the progress China has made in the sector. The new white paper details ambitious goals that include boosting its space infrastructure and developing a next-generation spacecraft for carrying people to space. The country is also researching how it could possibly land people on the moon in the coming years. Over the last few decades, the country has placed significant stress on expanding its space capabilities, increasing the frequency and scope of its launches, and pushing into a new area such as the robotic exploration of Mars. China has also mounted a long-term campaign of lunar exploration that includes sending a series of landers and rovers to the lunar surface every few years. In 2019, the country became the first to land a rover on the far side of the moon and in 2020, China brought samples of the moon back to Earth. Given China's focus on the moon, it's been expected for years that the country would eventually try to land people on the lunar surface too. As the nation's lunar program has advanced, China has also made significant progress in its human exploration program. In 2021, the country launched the core module of a new space station that will be built out in orbit around Earth. There are currently three astronauts living on board the Tianhe module of the Tiangong space station. Before China attempts to send people to the lunar surface, the country first plans to continue studying the moon with probes. The white paper details plans to send two additional robotic spacecraft to the moon within the next five years that will study the lunar polar regions, areas of the lunar surface that are thought to be home to water ice. The first of the two probes, the Chang'e 9 mission, will return lunar samples while the second, the Chang'e 7 mission, will do a hopping detection in an area in permanent shadows of some mountains and craters. The nation is also going to study plans for its next lunar probe as well as work with international partners to build the International Lunar Research Station on the Moon, according to the white paper. Liu Zhijiang, director of the Lunar Exploration and Space Program Center of the China National Space Administration, said that China has signed an agreement with Russia for a collaborative lunar exploration with Chang'e 7 probe and Russia's Luna 26 orbiter. It's unclear when China plans to complete the station or when it's aiming to land humans on the lunar surface. The country is also eyeing the exploration of other planets in our solar system. It plans to launch probes to near-Earth asteroids in the next five years, as well as study ways to send spacecraft to the Jupiter system and to Mars again, with plans to bring back samples from the Red Planet. The white paper lists many other space exploration goals for the next five years, including a joint asteroid sample return, Comet Rendezvous mission, research and development on key technology for the Chang'e 8 lunar base precursor mission. China's long to-do list for the next half decade also includes building out China's space station, updating its satellite technologies, improving its space transportation and rocket systems, creating new rocket engines and more. It's a pretty long list that makes it clear that for China, space exploration is a top priority. That's a wrap. 
thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.